Aquarius. Hello, how are you, beautiful soul? My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. You will love him. He gives such practical, easy to understand messages and guidance from Spirit, particularly in the niche of business. He's absolutely a business genius. His information is going to be down below. But without further ado, let's dive right in and see what messages Spirit has for you. All right, so I feel like there has been a decision that's been going back and forth in your mind here a little bit, Aquarius. I feel like understand that whenever we have decisions, remember, it always has to come from an intuitive place to, to create a outcome, a desired outcome that really is going to resonate with our higher self. So the number one thing you have to remember is to not have a scattered energy, which means that whenever our minds are in so many different places, right, uh, worrying about our, our friends, worrying about our family, worrying about our loved ones, worrying about our finances, when we're constantly in a state of scattering our energy, perhaps putting energy into this energy into this doing this doing that understand that the more we take on the more we disperse our energy you know there's a reason why buddhist monks literally own nothing it's because in order for us to have the most amount of energy we can it's important to simplify our lives understand that any joy choice and again any decision that needs to happen needs to come from that uh, higher self place so we're not siphoning out our energy you know what i mean just just disregarding it and um, right now it definitely feels like an energy time where you just want to be mindful about where your energy is going Aquarius because I do see here that there are uh, some major shifts in your finances as well as your home life and which really means your romantic life it feels like there is going to be enhancement of the people in your life it is going to be enhancing of the the passion, the love that's going to be flowing in and understand that right now the universe is directing you on this particular path and this particular, this particular mm, new beginning for you. Now this new beginning and this new opportunity is only going to be able to manifest to the degree that you are putting energy into. It means that if you are coming from any type of fearful or um, uh, regretful or shameful or any, any energy that doesn't promote abundance, if you are thinking about something along those lines, then it's only going to it's only going to um, promote a lot of resistance in your life. And so you're not going to be able to see things from a way that is clear for you, right? Your clarity is going to be um, misconstrued. I don't know if that's the right word, but your clarity is going to be uh, disrupted. And when our clarity is disrupted, then it promotes this degree of fear. Because when we don't feel like we know, then it instills this fear within us that we don't have the answers. And that just means that you are disconnected because we always have the answers but when we feel like we don't we are not feeling grounded we are feeling too stimulated right we are again not connected to our divine so it is important to prioritize this at this time Aquarius because it does feel like right now the energy that you put in towards what it is that you're looking to create is going to manifest into exactly how you want it to with that three of wands there so again it's that energy it's all about just putting abundant energy into your manifestations right that's what it is truly about and the universe will take care of the rest. And the universe is here to let you know that as long as you are really being mindful about who it is that you are and what makes you strong and feel whole and complete, not giving your energy away, not giving your power away, but literally looking at every scenario as an opportunity for growth and recognizing that the more that you know what you want out of this human experience, truly down to the nitty gritty, truly down to the detail of it. What do you really want? Not the surface stuff, but what do you want deep down? When you take time for yourself and decide what that is, then you set your standard for yourself and you live your life by that standard. You know what I mean? And when you do that for yourself, Aquarius, that's when your vibration starts to change, my beautiful friend, because when you start to live your life from a particular standard that you've set for yourself, then you accept nothing less. And then your focal point or your awareness will accept nothing less. And that's all it will see because whatever we put our energy into, as we know, the awareness grows around that. 
So if you just take the time right now to set your particular standard for what you expect out of this human experience, you won't see anything but that. And so you'll only gravitate towards that. Does that make sense? And that's when you'll be able to transform your energy. And that's when there's going to be major shifts in your life. You're going to feel much more in control and you're going to feel much more alive. And that's when there's going to be major internal shifts because a lot of the times here, it's, it's, we expect to see change and we may, you know, do particular things that are different. We may, you know, um, you know, have new beginnings and new opportunities in our life, but unless we have that internal shift where we become aware of a higher standard for ourselves, or a, a, a new opportunity or a better opportunity, unless we shift that perspective internally, we're not going to see the results in our outside world. It's always a vibrational thing. So yes, we take new action. Yes, we try new things. And as we take new action and try new things, we start to recognize a new awareness. And that's what I can see here is that there is going to be a new awareness. There is going to be more opportunity. There is going to be shifts coming forward here. And look at that, the Empress and the Ten of Wands, exactly. So the universe is saying, now is not the time to burden yourself with the thought that it's not possible. Now is the time to take on this new energy of understanding that you can have whatever you want, but you must be guided into this opportunity. You must be guided into this new beginning. And this guidance from the universe is going to feel very effortless. It's going to feel very easy. It's going to be clear as day where you are meant to be, where you are meant to go. But remember, when we are too busy trying to be validated by those around us when we are too busy trying to, um, you know, uh, achieve this particular outcome and we are stressing ourselves out, we're taking on too much in our schedules and we're needing things to be a particular way. That's how we always know it's the red flag that we are in our smaller selves perspective. And that's why the universe is saying right now that it is time to just be mindful about again, where your energy is going. Is it scattered in too many different avenues? Is it time to dial things back and really just channel it into what the most important thing of this chapter is because there's generally not too, too much. The universe won't overwhelm us. There's generally, you know, when we channel our energy into particular things, that's when it grows and it manifests. If we're having our energy dispersed, dispersed into too many different avenues, that's when again, things get overwhelming and nothing really grows, right? What is that uh, saying where it goes, um, you know, uh, uh, um, of course, I'm forgetting it at this time. But when you when you disperse your energy into too many different things, you're not really the master at anything. It's sort of a um, you, you, you sort of get mediocre results in all avenues, right? If you really want something to materialize and you really want something to grow, channel majority of your energy into this particular event or this particular circumstance. And that's when it will grow. And that's why mouth spirit is here. Just letting you know, just tend to the things that you can tend to. Right. And a lot of that time, it's just it's just little bits. It's just putting your energy into it. It's just keep learning new things, keep trying new things, and just know that is going to promote a lot of, again, personal growth and a lot of experience for you. But the most important thing, again, is being having dispersed energy means we're thinking about things from a, um, from a place of the past or a place of the future. You just want to be very present in the now, right? You want to have your energy right here in the now. If it's here and you're can and, and you're mindful about where you are, then what's going to happen is you're going to be able to feel your way through life. And we really want to be able to feel our way through life. We don't want to feel or we don't want to be thinking our way. If we're thinking our way, then we're stressing and we're creating a lot of false realities. You know, thinking from a conscious place is really limiting us to what the experiences we have gained so far is. And we have a very, we have a very diverse, um, place where we can achieve and where we can experience wisdom from. And that's really truly from connecting to the divine because we don't have to know the answers. We just have to feel out what feels best and the universe will always give us and provide us the answers. But again, in order for us to feel where the answers are coming from, we have to be feeling and being mindful about what's happening right now, not expecting an outcome, not um, hoping for the best, like just, just being present in the now and just really having our energy there. And that is when, again, there's going to be shifts in your environment and shifts in the outcome that it is that you're desiring. Cause right now, Aquarius, it just feels like change is necessary, but change needs to come from an internal place, right? You need to see things from a different way. And in order to be able to see things from a different way, 
it is just about, first of all, being mindful about a particular standard for yourself and then not allowing that standard to waver. Allow only seeing that so that that's what's in your awareness so that you can take action from that particular energy field. All right, Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you, Aquarius. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby. <laughs>